Here is the Ingenuity Dream and Grow Bedside Bassinet. This is the bassinet that I chose for my daughter. Um, I am currently 23 weeks pregnant and this is what we are getting ready to set up. So I guess you could call this setup plus unboxing. Okay, so when you open it up, you have your instruction manual. Um, I have seen a lot of great reviews on this and the reason that I purchased it is because I wanted something that the baby could be in for quite a bit of time and this actually it has two stages to it once they are able to roll over um, I will be lowering it down to the bottom stage and it's kind of like a miniature um, like a miniature pack and play like one of those crib side pack and play things and that is why I wanted it. I do live in a smaller home um, right now until we extend our home or make the decision on moving. We are still not sure on what we're doing yet. We will be having her sleep in our room, but in her own bed. Okay, so I opened it up to the instructions and let's go back over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get everything out now and we will go from there. This is the actual bed that baby will be in. And then this here is the mattress. Um, it's actually pretty hard. I'm sure you guys can hear that. And then here is the thickness on it. Um, it's not, I mean, for a baby baby, I guess, that's fine. Um, but we will also be putting in our baby nest inside of that. And then here is the storage compartment for it, and it has two separate pockets, and it's got a divider here. So from step one, which is this right here, I am sorry about the lighting, it's not the greatest. Okay, I went ahead and cut all of these pieces off, so you're definitely going to need scissors and a Phillips head screwdriver along with, with a pack of AA batteries. So for your first step, you're going to take the piece that has the wheels on both ends and you are going to set that piece down. You're going to want to make sure that these right here are on the inside, like they're facing towards the inside. You're going to have two of these pieces on this. You're going to slide that. in here like this until you hear the click so so far you should have something that looks like now we are going to go ahead and put on our storage compartment and that's going to go here you're going to want to pull this part back you're going to want to pull it back until you find the click connect the quick connect buttons and these ones are on both sides 
gonna click connect them right on them to there. These like little foam protectors. We're just gonna take those off, throw them off to the side. They're on all connectors of this piece. You're gonna push in your quick connect button. Now, I just found it so much easier to put the bottom connectors in first for the other side, the side that doesn't have the storage pocket on it, before connecting these ones here in. I wanted to show you guys the end result of this. This is what it looks like like from the side this is what it looks like from this side and then this is the inside of it so right here is the baby nest that I purchased off of Amazon it just comes in this case here. And you just pull it out of the case. And I'm actually going to set that down inside of there for extra padding for the baby. But I love it, you guys. Um, then I'll just have one of her little blankies in there. I mean, of course, when she's sleeping, she will not be in a blankie. She will be swaddled up. But um, this is one of the blankets that we purchased from TJ Maxx. But it'll honestly probably just be to cover up the baby nest so it doesn't get... Because I'm pretty sure you cannot take this cover off of here. Um, this is just to like extend it because you can have this all the way up until they are two years old. But... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you cannot wash that, so that is the only thing that really sucks about that. But I will probably just have that in there, like, to cover it up. And then at night, when, or, like, when she's sleeping, I will just put, like, a burp rock cloth, like, underneath of her. Um, just in case she was to, like, spit up or anything. The little push button thing so I will go ahead and put that together on this side is the light this actually just comes off you can take it with you if you wanted to oops okay so to turn it on you just hit the light and there is the light and it's honestly a pretty not bright but enough to where you could literally you know see in on baby very very well and then um, to shut off the light you're not gonna hit the pat or the light button oh I guess you can hit the light button now, for the sounds, you're going to hit
and then that's your power button. So your light, your volume, and your music or sounds, and then your power button. But this actually detaches, and you, I've heard of people actually taking it with them um, if they do not have like a little portable sound machine. We actually do have a little portable sound machine. Um, I don't know exactly where it's at right this second, but that is neither here nor there. That is not part of this video. So, um, that is actually a cool little extra plus, I guess. Um, this actually takes three AA batteries and not two. I do think I said two at the beginning because that is what it looked like at first, but, and I'm pretty sure that's what I've seen in the, um, instruction manual, but it actually does take three. But, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you end up purchasing this, um, bassinet, and I will also link the baby nest, um, now the one that I purchased, they do not carry any longer, but I have seen so many on Amazon. All you really have to do is get on Amazon.com and search Baby Nest. But um, I hope that you guys like this video. If you guys end up purchasing this bassinet, please let me know down in the comments. Let me know how you like it. Um, I think we are absolutely going to love it. It is actually not going to stay here in the nursery. It is going to be in between our bedroom and the living room. We're going to, you know, it's on wheels so we can move it back and forth. But um, with how our home is set up, we are not comfortable with either of the children sleeping in the bedroom, the nursery, because of just how the house is set up. Um, the front part is us, and then off of the kitchen is the kids' room. Well, Lincoln's bedroom, because this is my one-year-old's bedroom. And I just don't feel comfortable with him being off of the kitchen. Um, if anything was to happen, I want to be able to get access to him rather quickly, and I feel like that would be hard to do while he is off the kitchen. I don't know. Maybe it's just mom thing. I don't know. But, um, here is another quick overview of the bassinet again. Um, another cool thing is the wheels lock. I forgot to tell you guys about that. The wheels do lock. So that is honestly pretty cool. I think so anyways. And again, you just have these two buttons to push you have this one and this one and it just lowers and hires all right guys and that concludes this tutorial i will see you guys in my next one if you liked it please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you are interested in watching my family grow and succeed in life just go ahead and hit that subscribe button i love you guys thanks for your support bye